Christmas is coming! Malapit na ang Pasko! Kumusta na po kayo? First of all, I want to thank my subscribers and returning viewers. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you! Even though there's not a lot, konti pa lang, but I really, really appreciate your support. And I'm going to be making a lot of videos. I will try to do it at least every week if I'm not too busy with my full-time job. But uh, yeah, I will do my best. And today we are going to make chocolate chip cookies with a hint of peanut butter cups. They are so good. They're crispy on the outside and soft and gooey on the inside. And my friends and my family and my friends at church, they love them. And there's a secret ingredient. So stay tuned and let's get started. These chocolate chips cookies are chewy and delicious and easy to make. Browning the butter will give these cookies a nutty butterscotch flavor. I have made so many cookies using this recipe and it's always been a hit. For this recipe, we are not going to use a mixer. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees, line a baking sheet with parchment paper. I'm using our 20-year-old well-seasoned cast iron skillet. On medium-low heat, add the butter constantly. Stir. This cast iron is dark in color, so using a white spatula will help see if the brown bits are forming. Once you see a hint of brown bits, lower the heat and continue to stir for another 5 minutes. Transfer the brown butter into a big container. This is very hot, so do not use a plastic container. Let it cool for about 5 minutes. Add the white sugar. And now the brown sugar. Mix to combine. Now let's add the salt. I'm using kosher salt and I want it to fully dissolve into the mix. And now the vanilla extract. Beat using a spatula until smooth and fluffy about 2 minutes. Now let's add the eggs. And then beat for another 2 minutes. I like using a wire whisk for another extra minute. Do not skip this process as this technique is essential to give the sugar a chance to dissolve completely. This will enhance the flavor and texture of these cookies. Using a sifter or a fine strainer, pour the flour and baking soda into a separate bowl. And now for our secret ingredient. This is hiding somewhere here. Here it is! Ta-da! It's cornstarch! This cornstarch will make these cookies extra crisp on the outside and soft and gooey on the inside. Use a sifter and pour it into the same bowl with the dry ingredients. Mix well to combine once again. Now let's add the dry ingredients into the egg mixture. And do not over mix. This is the texture that we are looking for. Now let's add the chocolate chips. Combine until there are no more flour pockets remaining, about one minute. If you find the dough very soft, cover and refrigerate until firm for about 30 to 60 minutes. And now, as you can see, the batter is ready. Chop the peanut butter cups about 1 4 inch in diameter. 
we are going to add a few of these as topping on some of the cookies. You may add more if you like. Whatever makes you happy. I'm using a large ice cream scooper, so these cookies will be large. Drop the cookies onto the prepared baking sheet, spacing them about 2 inches apart. With the palm of your hand, gently flatten each ball into a round. Flatten them all the same so they will cook evenly. Press some of the chopped peanut butter cups into the cookies. You may do this on all of them, but I will only do this on three of them. I'll also add extra chocolate chips on the other two. You will see the difference. For baking time, everyone's oven is a little different and it will also depend on how you like your cookies. I like my cookies to have crisp edges and soft and chewy. So I am baking this for 9 minutes. If you like your cookies a little softer, cook them a little less. Some people like their cookies crisp all the way through, so bake them a little longer. Experiment to see how you like yours. I do like to rotate my baking pan halfway through. And now these cookies are done. They smell so good. They are still soft, so give it a few minutes. That's the waiting time. And then we can transfer them very carefully onto a wire wrap to cool completely. You may use a spatula, but I'm just using my the hand. cookies have been resting for about 10 minutes. And I made this. These are the remaining dough. And look, we have 24 here. And I'm going to put them in the freezer. They freeze really, really well. And then we have five here. These are beautiful. Look at this. These are still warm. Let's try this one with the peanut butter cups. Look how perfect. Look how beautiful. Crispy on the outside and soft and gooey on the inside. Let's check it out. All right. Look how beautiful. Look at that. Get my plate. Now let's do the taste test. So good. Soft and gooey on the inside and the outside is crispy. That's the secret of the cornstarch that we added. You know, it has a deep nutty flavor like butterscotch. And those brown bits, those are the reason why this tastes so good. And with the milk, it's perfect. I'm sure this will be one of your favorite cookies from now on. Okay, you guys have a wonderful day. Whatever you're doing, take care and stay healthy, stay safe. 
enjoy the holidays enjoy your friends enjoy your loved ones give them a big hug for me and a big hug for you too also I'm so excited to share these cookies with my friends at church and also our wonderful neighbors here all right thank you so much have a wonderful day I'll see you on the next video. Bye!